I am not going to speak for too long. I, we just had a nice uh, conversation here for about, I guess, about an hour and a half talking about uh, um, Canada's uh, cultural industries, and particularly here in Vancouver in the province of British Columbia. As you know, the film and uh, television industries and the audiovisual industries here in the province of British Columbia and in Vancouver are a key part of uh, Vancouver's uh, economy and part of our quality of life and part of our identity here on the West Coast. And uh, so we just had a very good discussion across the country. We're doing roundtables with different sectors of the economy, different regions of the country, uh, in order to get feedback, thoughts, ideas, constructive criticism. Uh, about uh, what it is that our government could be doing, should be doing, uh, when it comes to ensuring that Canada's economic growth continues. As you know, uh, Canada's uh, economy continues to move forward, continues to go in the right direction. We have uh, more jobs that have been created in the, the past year than a lot of people predicted. We are being seen as a star on the international scene, but we also recognize that Canada's economy is um, still vulnerable. It's vulnerable to pressures from the United States, it's vulnerable to international pressures as well, and vulnerable to some of the um, concerns that are continuing to uh, be seen in Europe, and we want to make sure that Canada's economy continues to grow. As you know, we'll be presenting a budget in the House of Commons uh, this spring, and in that budget we're looking forward to the next phase of Canada's economic recovery. We had our two-year economic action plan that has seen strong results, strong uh, economic growth, strong job numbers across the country. Every region of the country has benefited from the economic action plan. It's not the question for our government is, what do we do next? Now that we've had the economic action plan, what processes and what policies do we want to implement um, as, uh, as the recovery is on an ongoing basis? Canada's cultural industries represent over 650,000 jobs across the country. Um, arts and culture in Canada has twice as many jobs in Canada as Canada's forest industry, three times the number of jobs that are, uh, exist in Canada's insurance industry. It's a massive portion of the Canadian economy. It's a massive portion of the British Columbia economy. And so we want to make sure that uh, all of Canada's cultural industries are strong, healthy, and robust going forward. And that's part of the discussion that we had uh, um, here today. So uh, I know a lot of people around the table have, uh, have brought forward very good ideas about what Canada can be doing with regard to modernizing and having an effective intellectual property laws and a good copyright bill that will serve the interests of all Canadians, that we have uh, effective investments by the Government of Canada into arts and culture, into the audiovisual, television, film uh, production uh, industries, and also that we continue to be a trading nation. From the Hudson Bay Company through FDA, NAFTA, Canada always has been, always will be a trading nation. It's not just about natural resources, it's also about intellectual property and intellectual creations. And uh, so we're looking for ideas on, on how we can more effectively have in international co-production agreements, have investments to support artists and the creative community on the international stage. Um, and these are all uh, things that we've discussed and all things that will be part of an ongoing conservative government policy in the budget and uh, beyond. So uh, it's, uh, and I also took the opportunity to underline and remind folks that um, the government of Prime Minister Harper, our conservative government, is had, we made a very precise decision not to cut funding for the arts, not to maintain funding for the arts, but to increase funding for arts and culture at a time of recession. We're the only country in the G8 that increased funding for arts and culture at a time of recession because we recognize the importance that arts and culture has in terms of building communities, investing in jobs, and investing in, investing in that uh, uh, always uh, talked about but always important uh, information age of uh, what is the next generation of uh, Canadian jobs. So. Um, this is a very healthy and very good uh, conversation, which will certainly feed into our budget process that when we do table our budget this spring, we'll make sure that uh, Canada's arts, culture, television, and film sectors are well represented, but also to make sure that Vancouver and British Columbia are well represented in the federal budget process, that British Columbia certainly gets its fair share, and that our ideas are heard at the federal cabinet table. So with that, I thank you all very much for being here. If there are a few questions, I'll take a few.